Good morning, good morning, good morning. Another glorious and beautiful day to meditate on the good things of God. Amen. And something I was not meditating on per se, but thinking about, which is not a good thing of God, was sickness and disease. I was thinking about how you deal with it, you know, because every once in a while you'll feel something trying to come on. And I remember, uh, years ago they'd talk about the cold they still i think they still talk about that you know flu season and cold season like they develop seasons for people to get sick and they'd talk about it and you feel it coming on about people go oh i feel like i'm getting sick and then you just go all right like i'm just gonna rest and let it happen and just endure it. let it let it pass on through because you know your body's going to deal with it but when it comes to sickness and disease it is an inv invader we do not have to sit down, lay down, and let it come. You know, if you had uh, termites showing up or you see ants crawling around in your house, you don't say, oh, let's just let them run their course. You know, we'll fix it later. Something, it'll turn out all right, I guess. Let's just hope for the best. No, you deal with it. You deal with it firmly. Uh, ants, I guess, you don't get as firm with. But if you had, let's say, a, a raccoon, you were, uh, you were a little little wilder. I, th I feel like we've become a lot more passive, so to speak, over the years. But but if you had like a raccoon snuck into your house and it's running around doing whatever, or, or a monkey or something, it's just tearing up the house. And you're like, this is my house. I just cleaned the house. I have everything in order. I've got all my, uh, my whatever, Warhammer figurines. I don't know if you know what Warhammer is, but it's a, a game system or something. And you make little figurines for it. I got them all set up and that monkey is tearing them up. You don't go, oh, oh, this is terrible. You know, you might get, if you want to deal with it, you're going to get fierce. You might get the broom out. You know, you might, depending on where you're at and who you are, you might get out a machete. You might get a stick. You might get a shotgun. You're going to say, I'm getting this thing out of my house. I heard a story or an example of like having a, a hog that came out of the mud. If you're living on a farm and the hog that came out of the mud or snuck into your kitchen, you just cleaned the kitchen, you're not going to say, ah, and just let it run. You're going to take that broom. That hog is getting out of your kitchen. Well, sickness is like a hog that wants its way into your kitchen. It is an invader, and it is an illegal invader. Because he said in Isaiah 53 about Jesus that he was despised and rejected of men. He was a man of pain and sorrow and acquainted with sicknesses. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we did not esteem him. But surely, in fact, it was he that bore our sicknesses and carried our pains. He, he was esteemed as stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. So it was our fault that he got that way. That's why he went. He did it for us, for you, for you to not have sickness. The chastisement for our peace, our shalom, our complete wholeness and well-being was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Healed. H-E-A-L-E-D. Healed. Those stripes, if you ever watched the Passion movie, was basically a whipping or beating on the back. He took 39 lashes. He took them for our healing. It's kind of interesting because there's some... Uh, some medical consensus that there are 39 different categories of disease and they uh, they weren't christian doctors this was just a natural uh, consensus between uh, mental and physical disease there are 39 different categories well jesus took a stripe for each one of them each one of them he bore it for us so he is a legal a completely legal before god we're not talking about u.s code of law we're not talking about the Babylonian code of law. We're talking about God's code of law. Legally, Jesus bore every sickness and every disease for us. So if sickness, even a, a taste of it comes on, a feeling, an implication, you know, people in the office are like, well, Frank and Mary have been out with a whooping cough or something. You say, I'm not having it. You get firm with it. We can get fierce with the, the enemy's attacks <clears throat> against our body. And you can remind the Father of his word. You say, by the stripes of Jesus, I was healed. But you also remind sickness and you remind the devil. You say, look, I have a covenant with God. 
and I'm not taking it. When I pray, I'm going to pray with confidence, with fierce confidence about this. We may pray more than once. We may continue to pray. We're not trying to convince God, but we're being fierce and persistent in the, the truth that God sent his son to pay the price for us. We're always examining our own selves and our own lives and not uh, playing the fool. But thank God that he paid the price for when we did play the fool. And we can repent and come back and receive, take hold of, with a firm grasp, the healing that he paid for us. Amen. Be blessed.